Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. John Eleven Hot here. Um, as everybody well known knows by now, that Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings are now kind of considered dead mornings now, since there is no longer any cartoons on these channels. Channel two, channel four, channel five, channel seven, and channel eleven. Which Channel 11 was the last? Pretty much, Channel 11 was the last which called station to basically have cartoons on it from 7 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon. Because, uh, well, they had the morning block uh, where they have what's called, but now there's like a ton of educational stuff on all those channels, some news a little bit on some of them. I mean, it's sad that Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings, well, Sunday mornings were practically almost pretty much dead on Sundays, although they did have cartoons on Channel 9 way back in my day, in the 80s and 90s and stuff, once in a while, but, you know, Channel 9 didn't, wasn't kind of like up with cartoon mornings on, on their channel, so that's why Channel 11 was the last... The last of its breed that basically had Vortex, which pretty much crashed and burned, and led to the Saturday morning witch court, you know. And of course, I put something, um, I posted something up on, uh, you know, like when I signed into Google, um, you know, because it's terrible how, you know, how everybody has to be exactly the same. Like now, we got to watch educational garbage, and if you have cable, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, you'll be able to watch Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, Nicktoons, Nickelodeon, and all those other cartoony networks. The kind of thing, like, you know, uh, it's terrible because you know most people can't afford cable with the way the economy is. I for one have cable, but I don't got all those stations. I only got like. Nickelodeon, um, Cartoon Network, uh, Disney Channel, Boomerang, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, uh, there's also the other ones which have, like, kindergarten stuff, but I don't watch those, so, you know, you won't see me watching that, but, you know, there was, like, a lot of stuff in the nostalgic days, which was the 80s and 90s of my generation, uh, which, you know, in the 80s, we had awesome, violent cartoons. And on Channel 11, in the mornings, forget it, they had the most violent cartoons ever. If you woke up on a Sunday morning or something, there was this cartoon show, which um, James Duncan Ralph basically mentioned in one of his Cinemasker videos, in Humanoids. That, like, that was a good cartoon show. It was, like, violent. But the one thing I was... It only had like one season and, you know, I guess it wasn't doing so good. Um, I had some of the figures. I had, um, I had all three of the monsters. I had, uh, what was it? You, know, you see it's so long ago, I can't remember. I know there was, um, there was Decompose, uh, Tendril, and... Uh, what's his name? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. But, you know, we're not talking about that. Um, we're talking about why are the Saturday mornings now become dead stations now with educational garbage? Um, a lot of people b basically assume that it's the FCC. I believe it is the FCC because the FCC, you know, basically think that watching violent cartoons or stupid you know, or watching cartoons that are like too stupid and immature that kids shouldn't be watching to me I basically say the FCC should stick its nose somewhere else like in adult programming that some families would watch you know like so, yeah there are like certain shows that are stereotyped which nobody likes and you know but you know like for instance there's like cartoon shows that pretty much were good in the 80s and 90s. Uh, most people basically didn't like the Captain and the Game Master. I mean, it was okay. 
I, you know, I liked it, but, you know, and, you know, and then when I watch the Nostalgia Critics uh, video um, on here on YouTube about about um, how bad it was, and, you know, it was like, you know, you see, the damn thing is, they, you, know, you know, they only lasted for, I believe, two seasons, or three seasons for that matter, I don't know, but it probably lasted for two seasons. Um, but there was like other cartoon shows in the nostalgic days, like on Channel 2, um, I'm going to basically pop up a few that I can pretty much remember that was on Channel 2. Um, on Channel 2 in the mornings, there was like a Superman cartoon, um, what else, Muppet Babies, Donkey Kong, um, I think there was q also, um, Pee-Wee's Playhouse, Weird Al, you know, the Weird Al show. CBS Story Break was a big one. Um, there was also Teen Wolf. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was also on that channel, too. Um, you know, but this is the weird thing. Channel 2 basically showed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the weekends, like Saturdays. And Channel 11 would basically have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles air during the week, like Monday through Friday. So you get like an extra treat if you turn on the Channel 2 CBS 2 and see the Ninja Turtles. And I'm talking about in the 80s through 90s and stuff. You know, but you know, I can, you know, then on Channel, then on Channel 4, they had a bunch of which books. There was Alvin and the Chipmunks. And this is another funny thing. Alvin the Chipmunks always aired on Channel 5, too, um, on the weekdays. And on the weekends, you'd see Alvin and the Chipmunks. There was also Laser Tag Academy, um, Swamp Thing, which basically just had one little episode on Channel 4, which didn't do so great um, on the Saturday morning. But Alf, Alf Tales, um... Kissy first, the Smurfs, and if you're wondering uh, about the Smurfs, you can basically watch that on Boomerang um, during the week and sometimes weeknights, like like after midnight and during the day, like around Monday through Friday from one o'clock to two. I mean, you know, tune in the Boomerang on uh, at one o'clock and you'll see the Smurfs on at one one thirty. And then again, you'll see him uh, like after midnight, like really early in the morning, like about 3, 3.30 in the morning. Um, there was also Mr. T and the T-Force, uh, I think. No, yeah, yeah, it was Mr. T with a bunch of gymnastic, you know, a gymnastic team. And there was Fat Albert, the Here's Punky Brewster, which they didn't call it Here's Punky Brewster, the cartoon show. It was uh, Punky Brewster. Um, let's see what else, uh, okay, then on Channel 5, during the weekdays, they, but, you know, Channel 5 didn't have that many cartoon shows on the, on the weekends. They basically had, uh, wrestling, WWF wrestling, which is now WWE, and, oh, that's another what you call, uh, Channel 2 had a, a Hulk Hogan type cartoon, um, uh, Hulkamania or something, I don't know didn't have the original voice cast of the wrestlers, but it had like familiar voices that you definitely know. Oh, and NBC also had Captain and, and the Game Master. Uh, Channel 5 during the weekdays, um, from what I remember, like in the early morning, around I think 6 or something in the morning, they had, um, they had a couple of which books. They had some kind of which book show where it had Plastic Man as, uh, as a as a host and everything and there was like plastic baby and heat cliff and marmaduke and then there's uh the flesh gordon cartoon like a young you know, young you know, like i think it was flesh gordon's son and you got all these I, I think it was that oh wait no no uh but it was his son in the uh, you know, like in the magician guy yeah you know, like look it up um but the you know, like during the afternoon they had alvin the chipmunks like i said before um, they also had Alf, no, no, they didn't have Alf, uh, they had 
the real Ghostbusters, which is really funny, because the real Ghostbusters was also aired on the weekends on Saturdays on Channel 7, ABC 7, if you live here in New York. Um, and of course, uh, here's something that you probably didn't know. DuckTales was also... DuckTales originally during the weekday was shown on Fox 5. And let's see, I think that's pretty much all the cartoons I can... Oh, yeah, Fox, of course, had good cartoons on the weekend later on. They had Eat the Cat, Tiny Toons, Advent, Tiny Toon Adventures, um, Power Rangers, which is an, another ending, which court, which is still going. They keep changing which court. It's like it's no longer Mighty Morphin. It's like Power Rangers this or Power Rangers that. Um, then Channel 7 had quite a numerous amount. Oh, and um, NBC had Disney's The Gummy Bears. I forgot to mention that. Um, I'm going to probably have to cut this quick. Um, but there will be a part two, so look out for it. I'll probably work on it as soon as I'm done. Uh, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to start working on that one. So uh, watch that next. Until next time, YouTube, yeah, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and nostalgic people of of um, our nostalgic days of 1980s and 1990s. This is John 11 Hot saying peace out and let's hope that uh, nothing else gets taken off the off, off our cable stations and stuff. Peace out.